How you doing? For this video, I'm gonna do voiceover for you, just so you understand the importance of it. I don't like hoarders at all. I don't like hoarders at all. I don't like hoarders at all. Stop, stop. Mike, when you're editing this, stop. Stop the music. I don't like hoarders at all. If you have stuff inside your house and it does not need to be there, don't have it there. Now for the sake of the people, I'm not gonna say the name, I'm just gonna show you the house. Is it messed up? I don't really think so, cause you shouldn't have your house that jacked up. But I'm probably gonna show you two. I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna show you two, because it's a, it's a lot to handle for both. But the main fact of it is, if you're not keeping your house healthy, then you're not living healthy, and that's important. Unless, you, if you have a problem with me making this video, then you have a problem with people living or being civilized, or just being healthy. You literally want them to be slobbish and, and, and you know, want them to be dirty. You want them not to clean up. And that's not helping at all. I get people want to live the life they want to live their life, how they want to live it, and whatever they want to do. But regardless of the fact, if you are hurting yourself, stop. Let's get funny. Okay. And so we go down the road. In the U-Haul. The U-Haul wasn't even that big. It was, <laughs> I'm as big as U-Haul. Like, my arms. But the house, the, the house is strange. Look at there. That's, that's asbestos. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's asbestos. <coughs> Regardless of the fact, we worked really hard. And she had the one thing inside the house that every single hoarder has. That. Every ghetto person has that. The laundromatter. So inside the house, everything, it was stuffy. I couldn't really Get breathe inside there. It smelled like farts. The fart I, I felt like I was gonna die. I, I thought die. I was never gonna eat chicken again. Oh lord, I could never eat chicken again. The hot sauce. I, I can't. No. So then I went to the window. I had to try to open up something, get some fresh air inside there, and I looked outside. And all of a sudden, I looked down. Dude, do you see that there toilet out there? I mean, the the leaves took it back. Then you got the trash can tipped over, like the raccoons went in there. Who was using the wheelbarrow? Look at the mountain. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this real of the house that I'm talking about, the real hoarder. So, you remember my other video, if you watch my stuff? That's the ladder I use to go inside someone else's house. I'm always doing some weird stuff going into some roof. So I'm walking through the basement and you know, the basement's kind of cramped. And you know, I'm helping this old lady, you know, She's very nice, but it was still strange. I had to do so much stuff. I had to kick down two doors. Look at my foot. You see that? That's that's almost cut. I had to kick down the second door. It had glass in it, and I kicked it, and it instantly all fell down. You don't believe me? All right. Give me a second. See that footprint? This is 100% true. Yeah, I kicked down that door. I kicked down the second door. So she gets the door open, and we're going to start walking through the house. You know, I'm just looking around. Keynote. I'm using my light for my cell phone. Not really trying to film inside our house. It's just this. That's, I can only see with that light. There's no lights inside our house. So we come around the corner. I can't really walk. And all of a sudden, I just look up. And. It's like a mountain to close. Now, see, if I'm being mean, I'm going to leave you with this. This is about a few months ago, so I was chunky. Oh, Lord! That's right, I was chunky. What's up? Hey, what's going on? It's only been a little while. For about the past month, I've been making...